Today, we're going to be taking a look at the new TXNR818 networking receiver from Onkyo. The first thing you'll notice is in our larger chassis, which means all the buttons can actually be neatly tucked away behind a large front panel. The 818 is THX Select 2 Plus certified, along with the first in the range of being ISF C certified for a LAN for calibration for perfect picture. And also, you have the HQV and QDO video processing chips inside. So you've got the best of both worlds up to 4K upscaling. Now underneath the front panel, we've got a whole array of buttons and connections. So let's run through them. First up is the headphone socket. And then you've got the zone two and zone three control buttons and the tone controls. Centrally positioned, we've got the nav buttons up, down, left and right and enter, and along with the setup and home and return button. This will actually allow you to navigate through all the menus without actually having to use the remote control. Also, we've got a monitor out button that allows you to cycle between main and sub. And then also we have actually buttons for controlling the tuner memories and for storing presets. And then last up on the far right hand side underneath the panel, we have the USB port, which supports the iPod, iPhone, or USB sticks for your playing back of your MP3s or other file types. We've also got the HDMI input, which supports MHL. We've got a front AV, a composite video, analog left and right. The setup mic is now powered by the Odyssey Multi EQ XT32 with dynamic volume. And lastly, a whole house mode or party button. This is in the same signals across all of the zones, main, zone two, and zone three. Now with the front panel all covered, I think it's time we actually take a look around the back. As you come to expect from Onkyo, pretty much any and every connection that you're going to need to hook up to your AV system. There's a rear mounted USB port which could actually be used for a UFW1, a wireless dongle for your networking. Also, you could go hardwired. There are seven assignable HDMI inputs across the back of the 818s. They are pre-labeled but you can actually assign any of the HDMIs to any of the labels or buttons actually on the front of the unit. And then we have two outputs, a main and a sub. Then we've got three coaxial inputs and two optical. These are also pre-labeled, but they can be assigned again to any of the inputs that you need. But we haven't forgotten about the traditional analog inputs or legacy connections. These are assigned and fixed to particular inputs, except for the component connections. These are also assignable, just like the HDMI. We also have control via RS-232, the IP via the Ethernet connection, and an IR direct jack in and out. Also, we've got 12 volt triggers for zone two and zone three if you need them. And while we're talking about zone two and zone three, you've got options of running a preamp signal of zone two and zone three off to separate power amps, which would be in the other rooms. Or alternatively, you can do it powered by the particular configuration you set up beforehand. And then we have the preouts for the main channels. They're all actually covered here. We've got twin sub outputs. All of the main channels are covered. And also there's a pre-out for surround back, front high or front wide, depending on what configuration you will want and need. And then lastly is the speaker configurations. Depending on what configuration you're actually using will actually depend how you wire this up to your speakers. But one thing we have changed and added to is the bi amping mode is a little bit different on the 818. What we've actually included now is a digital crossover. This is a vast improvement on the crossovers within speakers or any other analog crossovers. And what we can actually do now is give you a separate high frequency and low frequency outputs directly from the back of the AVR which means when you're outputting in bi -amp mode with the low and high frequency settings used, the end result is much, much more accurate. I hope you've enjoyed watching this first look at the TXNR818, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.